Good morning and welcome to Mimosas in the Morning. I'm Leslie. And I'm Holly. And we are running a little late. We've had a few technical difficulties, difficulties. because, well, that's, that's, that's us, right? <laughs> so we're, we're not here. technical at all. We're lovers instead. <laughs> so it's not about us. It's about us promoting our spouses and the community. They're doing some great things. But this morning, you know, I love having little things. So let's see if we can get this to go. Oh, no. Little surprises. That's not a surprise. Skip the app. Uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today is Lauren Poe. She is someone who wears many hats. So I'm wearing my army hat for her. Yes, I know my Marine Corps spouse is still last time. Why are you wearing army gear? Because I got to support my girlfriends. <laughs> so there's that. So this is my army hat. Thank you, Alicia and Sean for letting me borrow it because she is an army spouse. Also, she's a chef. Do y'all like seeing my net? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Girl, you're the first person I've seen. Me. I'm way better cookie <laughs> than I do. But also today, I got to show you. Look, I'm going to pop it up here. I am wearing heels. I don't know if you can see. This chick has some Not rocking legs. She said she played hockey in, in college. I'm like, girlfriend, we all need to wear heels like Laura and have legs. <laughs> I mean, Leslie wear an apron. But then we're also, she's an entrepreneur and she created both designs. And look, we're blinging. We're not your ordinary housewives. <laughs> I am having an allergy attack today. Yeah. It's okay. Sorry, you're allergic to me. Are you allergic to me? I hope not. <laughs> no, we're we're together, right? That would be bad. <laughs> but we're not ordinary housewives today. We're fancy. We're blinging it up in the kitchen, right? Yes. I love it. Lauren, tell us. Give me you. I saw a thing in the store today. It said, build your character. I want build your character. Yeah, good. That's a good, good one, right? Well, yeah. Um, okay, so building character. I, get, I, I suppose I've been doing that for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm going to throw it. Uh, Corey Weathers, you know her? Of course you do. She's an MCLA with us. Um, so Corey Weathers once said, you know, track your journey. You know, everything you're doing adds up into something in the future. And so you may not see the purpose now. And so I bring that up because I've been writing out my journey recently, just trying to figure out how on earth I got myself here. And um, there's been a lot of neat steps along the way. So before I married the military, I was a chef by training. Um, a very passionate cook. I went to the Culinary Institute of America and was absolutely rocking it there. I used to work for the Ritz Carlton and I, I found my calling. That's where I belonged. And then, it, oh, you can't see this. I'm talking with my hands, but they're down here. So I'm going to move up here. Yes. Um, <laughs> anywhere, girlfriend. Um, let's see. But so I, I eventually met my husband when Facebook was created because I'm a dinosaur. Cheers. And uh, <laughs> my school was allowed on. I created an account and he was at, uh, he was at a college just down the river from me and from my hometown in Ohio. So I actually it's met my high school sweetheart. What's that? It's your legs caught his attention. That's why. Oh yes, they did. Oh, yeah. And then the cookie was the top of the cake. It, it, it was the, the legs and the really sweaty hockey jersey, I'm sure, that did it. But <laughs> no, I, uh, I did gymnastics since before I could walk. And then around junior high, my brother started playing hockey. So I decided I could do that too. So I'd go from gymnastics and cheerleading competitions straight into hockey on Saturday afternoons. And it was, a, it was quite a transformation. So you're an amazing woman. That's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I guess fast forwarding, uh, I saw my soon to be husband in uniform and that was really about it. <laughs> that can do it. That can do it. Mm -hmm. cool. It did. It did. Yeah. But, um, so we, we moved together to his first duty station and his deployment time kept changing. We thought it was going to be soon. And um, it, it changed enough on us that we invited our family down for the 4th of July. And we got married in the Savannah courthouse. It was awesome. So didn't quite have the the traditional wedding, but absolutely did the traditional wartime bride thing with um, going out to So, <laughs> and how long have you been married, Lauren? Oh gosh, twelve years now. So, 
you know, we're getting there. <laughs> so how did you become this famous chef? By the way, she was even on TV. She's famous, like Lauren's famous. You had to tell what TV show are you on, Lauren? Because you know all of you are. So that's actually an interesting story. So that first deployment eventually came and um, I do a lot of things when uh, when I have time to think. And so I decided that I was gonna apply for the show Top Chef. And I competed with about 20,000 other people to get on the show and I was accepted for season five. Now, spoiler alert, I didn't last very long on the show. I will own that up front. I, I didn't deserve to win. There were so many other talented people there in that circle with me, but it was an absolute honor just to be a part of that crowd. Oh, my kids like that show. Uh, I love that show. It was definitely a, an eye-opening experience, but it was a lot well, of fun. Everything, even when you don't win something, gives you a, a different experience, and you never know where that next door is gonna open. Absolutely. I'm sure the networking connections, I mean, and all of us get to know this top chef at times, so. <laughs> and I'm That's very awesome. disappointed you're not here with us. I know, she, 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 she lives here, and I'm like, no, she's in Fort Leavensworth. You know, I would love for her to be here, because let me tell you, her cookies are way better than my cookies. This is what Airbnbs are for. We just have a girl's vacation, we all get together, I promise I'll cook. <laughs> and, and that would be nice, right? I think, I think that the Missoui program should do that. We should like fly to different places. Yeah. Let Lauren make us some cookies because <laughs> more more gooey, chewy, they're a little bit, they got a little hard on the bottom. <laughs> I'm not a baker, I'm a cook, I'm a southern woman, southern woman cook. I'll tell you what I will do. So we have a chocolate chip secret at our house. We okay. keep yeah. chocolate chip cookie dough in our freezer at all times because we like to eat dessert a lot. So um, I actually had uh, Krista Anderson to my house recently because I'm in Leavenworth where Armed Forces is and mm -hmm. um, so she tried my cookie dough and loved it so much that I will even be willing to share my family recipe if you'd like. That we, oh, we scoop a little yeah. cookie dough in first. Yeah. The chef in our military is going to share her secret recipe. <laughs> her recipes would be good. Yeah. So I, you I give it that and we'll put it, post it into the comments and that way I can bake some cookies like Lauren Hope. But the one of the best things about you, Lauren, is the little, it's not little anymore. It was little when I first met you and it has bloomed into something beautiful. Again, we're wearing, look, I'm blinging this Can morning. I, you know, I'm like blinging. When you order these bling blings, look, I have one right there too. And it's so shiny. We all like shiny. And then it come in these cute little boxes. <laughs> and you open up the little box, it has a little sachet. Oh my God. I have a Lauren, she, she, does, she does all these great brooches and pins. It's necklaces now too, right? Did I see? Mm -hmm. Necklaces, earrings, bracelets, brooches. Um, but how I got there was actually a really interesting story. Um, you know, marrying the military and having a career of my own already established, um, I had to decide that my soldier was worth sacrificing that for in order to be with him. And so every time we moved, um, my husband's a tanker in the army. And I have learned that fine dining restaurants just don't exist next to tanker duty stations, uh, mostly because they like the artwork to stay on the walls. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, my career went backwards at that point, and I just took jobs that were less and less deserving of my my talent and training. Um, still made the best of them, but it, it's not where I personally wanted to be. And so after, oh gosh, after six or seven years, I found myself decorating cakes at the commissary because I eat humble pie and when I need a job, I take a job. And I knew I wanted to make changes at that point. And jewelry had always been something I'd done since I was little. Uh, my sister and I always made macaroni necklaces when we were kids, things like that. Um, but it just started piece by piece of my friends encouraging me. So I, I blame people like you, Holly, for encouraging me into all of this because Hope Design has grown from that little itty bitty Etsy shop where I, I made it while my, my children were newborns and I, at the kitchen table at night to it's a brand now. And I'm able to hire military spouses to help me make the jewelry. And I'm able to provide that fulfilling employment to others that, um, that, that I wished I could have had myself. So I, I'm really proud of where Hope Design is, or what it's become. Well, you know, and that's the thing I think, and I appreciate the fact that you're doing something that, you know, you found that you were in that area of underemployment, mm -hmm. which is systemic for military spouses. I mean, oh, absolutely. 
So being able to provide a job that you can feel good about, that you feel like you're doing more with, I think that's wonderful. And congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you very and much. Your I know they're so happy because you have to be a great boss babe. Just saying. We, we know we have a great boss babe. And it's so nice to be able to work for another military spouse who understands when you call them and say, my job is sick and I just can't come to work. But hey, I can still work at home, so give me something. And they un they understand that, they're compassionate. So I know that you have to be an amazing boss babe. Oh, goodness. Well, thank you. She <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> So, round this up this morning because this is the season for voting for spouses and or nominating. You should nominate a spouse in your area that's doing something. Um, I, I personally nominated spouse spouses. Um, a few of them did not accept, but many of them did. And one of them is Lauren. I recognize Lauren for her talent, and I think that. Um, you know, everybody has something. You shouldn't compare. You know, even though I'm wearing my hat and I'm saying I'm wearing my heels like Lauren because I do want to his girlfriend. At the same time, uh, do you never compare yourself with someone else because everyone has something special. Mm -hmm. And that special is, is, is sometimes it's time to highlight and sometimes it's not. You know, and at this time of year um, with the Armed Forces um, Insurance and Military Spouse Award, they recognize, they allow other people to nominate and recognize spouses all over, you know, in other countries that are, you know, part of um, our military service that are, are, are everywhere. Like, it's just amazing how many spouses have been nominated. And for me, I nominated Lauren because I think she is great and fantastic spouse. Not that I don't love my other Army spouses. Let's make that clear. Y'all know that I do. I heart you. <laughs> but, but she even wears the hat. So. I do, I do, I do, because my neighbors are all I think about support, right? Support us all because we're all under one big, I call it a tree. Mm -hmm. We got all the little blooms are on the tree, right? Well, the military family is a military right. family. Exactly. With, with, we're all military brothers yeah. and sisters and family members. So today is the last day to vote. Lauren, do you have anything to say? Because I'm giving you the kudos. Here's wow. your money. Thank you. I, I, this experience to be nominated is incredible. Um, I'm honored. I, that's, that's the bottom line. I'm honored. I, I don't feel like I did. I don't feel like I did large, amazing things. It was always just trying to make the next best right decision. Mm -hmm. Um, and all those little decisions and choosing the right path, even if it was the harder path, is added up into a whole lot. So, thank you. Thank you. Very much. You you deserve it. And um, we do not find out until the 18th, correct? I believe so. Yeah. Well, so, then we need to also throw out that our Holly here was also nominated, as we said last week. And I will say for her, because I know her, that she does everything. She's very selfless. She is the person who sits there and volunteers for literally everything you name it she is doing it you look at her list of everything she does she does not do it for people to see what she's doing she does mm -hmm. it her heart's in the right place so i want to encourage i can encourage you to vote for both we're at different, places, different branches so i encourage you to vote for holly today i encourage you to vote for mm -hmm. lauren today so Great. holly your heart is bigger than the core and we all know it thank for you sure. I love that. It's nice, right? That is Listen, good. I like that, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. We have, and we just, I think at every branch, when you look at the list, everybody has their mission. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of the reasons why I nominated Lauren was because I'm not an entrepreneur. Holly's never going to start a business. Just so sorry, people will not. I'm not going to write a book. That's not going to happen. But I love to support my spouses to do. I'm like, girlfriend, you are boy. You know, hey, there's a guy. Got, we can say it's service members, service spouses, right? Sure. Kudos to you. You are rocking it. And, uh, you know, look, uh, pick those people up and lift them up, right? Well, really what, Holly, I can share an easy way if you'd like to do that. Yes, tell me. Because I know when you, you talked about this a long time ago, trying different things. That's all right. Uh, so I like to support my military spouse and veteran-owned businesses as well. And mm -hmm. it's always just been people asking me, hey, do you know someone that does this? And we finally created a website for it called shopmilitary.org where you can go and see and support, tangibly support all of my military spouse and veteran owned business friends. 
So please feel free to check it out. I think I have that link too because you've sent it out, but send it to me. Send Absolutely. me recipe for the chocolate chip cookies because you know everybody's going to check them out. And <laughs> if you own a business and you're a military spouse, which we have interviewed quite a few yes, in veterans, mm -hmm. then please go to Lauren's site because she wants to recognize you. And that's what this is all about, you know, uplifting, recognizing, giving virtual loves and hugs. Absolutely. Um, so thank you, Lauren. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, everyone else, for joining us. And we will see you next week. Um, well, one thing else, remember, we Mimosas in the Morning now has an Instagram uh, yeah, account. Yeah, yeah, we do. We have, we're getting fancy. So we're trying to build that up so that uh, other look people at can post. Look Lauren? At it. It's causing Lauren to drink because she probably is a <laughs> Um, we did, this morning we're trying to be healthy because it's heart healthy mom so instead I brought my water I was just saying <laughs> there you go <laughs> late, so, so she didn't bring her water so I brought nothing but that's okay mm -hmm. so like I said we're going to be doing some interesting things love mm -hmm. to have you all join us on there yeah. it's very easy to find but most is in the morning and, and of course military home base is PCS season so we're if bringing home one for a house, house time, right? yes we are and that's what Mm -hmm. When you get orders, if you're looking for someone who can really help walk you through everything, just let us know and we'll lead you in the right direction. And now you get to talk to me. And you get to talk to her because she's like your number one point of contact. Yeah. So. And I love making new friends. So friends for life. Lauren, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. thank you, Leslie and Holly. I appreciate yeah. it. I know. And I'm wearing my bling. All of y'all go to Lauren's side. She's going to make you beautiful or someone you know beautiful. And it's Army, Navy, all this great. So, All the business, go to her site. Really? Yeah, so you didn't say Marines or Air Force. No, just Marines, say. Air Force, National Guard. You know, if you're going to say Marines, she's going to be. A I know. Just I'm like, telling you, Lauren. My girlfriend's like, why are you wearing that army shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so this is how I know you really love me. Thank you. I, I, I know. I do really love y'all. <laughs> I love you. I love. My, I do. I love my girlfriends. Very big hugs. Okay. So remember, Military Home Base is bringing you home one base at a time. And come back next week and join us as we help promote another spouse. How can I, right? Fantastic. Okay. Thank Have you. Have a great week. Don't forget to go on. Go go on. And Holly. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay.